Hey guys, it's Dr. 23 back again with some nice therapy. Yeah, and that was my daughter, little Stasa 23, and she's here to help me out with this knife. And Bella, tell them why you like this knife so much. Because it's my dog's knife. And she says this is her dog's knife because of what? The paw prints. The paw prints. That's what she likes about it. And uh, this is the Timberline uh, Simba. I learned about this knife from Jimmy Slash's YouTube channel. And this is a pretty pretty awesome budget uh, knife. Uh, I know some people said they want to see some budget knives. And if you're looking for a pretty hard, use, like, you know, beater budget line knife, check it out on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I think you can get it for like 14 bucks, or I know it's under 20 bucks. And it, it comes in D2 steel. And uh, like I said, it's made by Timberline. And it's got... Uh, forward finger choil, nice. What is something? What's something else you like about it, baby? Um, are they glow up in the dark? No, they don't glow in the dark, but it's got different colors. You see, you got like double layered G10. You got black G10 with the green paw prints on. Um. Do you like the blade? I like how it's like that. waves right here. Yep, and th that's what you call finger choils, baby. Those, and that, and she pointed out something that's really good. The way that your fingers, even if you got big fat fingers or big old gigantic paws, your your and that <laughs> no pun intended, your hands fit in there really comfortably. Locks in your hand really really nice. And uh, like I said, in this forward choil too, this ramp right here, the jumping is very effective. Not overly sharp, but very nice. And you also have an indexing point right here. If you're like processing game or whatnot, you got a stainless liner lock. You got um, flow through construction with two standoffs. You got stainless liners in there. It's not a, a super heavy knife, but it's not the lightest either. I don't think, let me see. Yeah, for the price, you're not, I don't know if you can see that in there, but there, there's no milling in those liners, so they're definitely not trying to save on weight, but for the price tag, I don't think you can beat it. Uh, came This one came pretty smooth. I can't promise you yours will be smooth, but let's get some quick size comparisons out of the way. You got the Simba here. You got your Kershaw, uh, what is it, crossbone? Yeah, crossbones. I also like this one because it's like the the bone thing make sure you keep your away from the, the blade okay yeah. they're super sharp all right let's see the uh crossbones and simba are fairly similar almost identical in size the simba is a little bit bigger um let's see we got your rat model two the rat model two is a good bit smaller as you can see um, hold on. And I know you like this one, huh, Belle? You like the color of this yeah. one? This is the... I, I love how it's like this, and when you go Watch like that... Watch the blade, kinda, baby. Watch the blade. And when you go like... Like, when you turn it, it kind of is like a dark green. But when you go like that, it's like a shiny, um... Yep. Shiny, um... Pattern, green. huh? Yep. That's pretty cool, huh? That's a neat one. This is your Pioneer. There you go. And, uh... And that 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 does it for a quick just a quick overview on the budget series um, Timberline Simba like uh, like Jimmy Slash would say it um, just uh, a good little a good work knife that's that's what I would use as far if I if I were able to work right now this is what I would probably carry as my beater knife so hope everybody's having a wonderful day oh, yeah and I think this. Yeah, this comes on, I don't think it runs on uh, Teflon washers, which at the price point, that's not a big deal. You can also see you can fit 550 through there really easily. You got tip up, tip down, left or right handed. So lefties, there you go. And you got that, that weird shaped uh, opening hole. Do you think that looks weird, babe? What? The, the hole right here. Looks yeah. like, what do you think it looks like? A bird's eye uh, or something? Like kind of an, oh, like an octagon. Like an octagon, it kind of looks like a, a, a diamond or an egg. An oval octagon. An oval octagon. Well, there you go.
She said it, peeps, so there it is. That one's my favorite. That's your favorite? Well, all right. Tell everybody. Bye, guys. Peace. See y'all later, guys. Peace.